Hello everybody once again, Jose Rodriguez. Well, let's talk about you refillers, Pro 100 specifically, because it is the most popular printer out there. Probably more Pro 100s in homes than any other printer make or model. Simple. So what happens, a lot of you are refilling and at some point you are very happy with the results but then all of a sudden, after several of these refills, you start noticing what seems to be like a lack of ink being deposited on your prints. You may see areas that are off color. You may see areas that have streaks. You may see all kinds of effects that are just not normal. I know what's happening. Your cartridges are not providing enough ink for the demand given by that image. So it just simply cannot deliver a sufficient volume of the ink. And I'll tell you why, exactly why. As you have been refilling, maybe you have been doing it the wrong way. I'm pretty sure because I've done that and I have experienced the same exact problems. So theoretically what you're doing is you're feeding this sponge right here, this material. It's a block of fibrous material, two different layers, different densities. Ink from this chamber flows through a little orifice on the bottom of this wall here. What separates this chamber from this chamber. So ink goes in and saturates the sponge as needed while you are printing. As you print, you use ink from here. As you print, ink from here enters to replenish that deficit. Okay. If you follow this advice, Never wait until the low warning hits. Watch your levels carefully. Refill, reset and refill those cartridges before that. So how do you know? Well, you can visually look at the ink level indicators on your driver as you print. That's one way. Right here, there's a little prism at the bottom. That little, I don't know whether you can see it or not, but it's located right there. If you have one of these empties with you, you can see it very clearly. That acts as a diversion of a little light beam. When it is under ink, it does not divert. When it is exposed to air, it diverts, and that triggers a low warning. If you catch it as soon as it's triggered, refill all your cartridges. Better yet, if you have a full set waiting on the aisles, Replace the whole eight cartridge set with one that is reset and filled. That is what I recommend you do. Now, here's what causes bad ink delivery. You wait until this runs out of ink. Now, you're still printing. And what's replacing the ink you're using? Air. Air starts to infiltrate those fibers. And you can't push that air out by simply adding ink here and letting it slowly, gradually permeate that sponge. It's not going to do the job. Okay, there is no force behind this. So never, here's the way to avoid this. Never, ever wait until the cartridge is below low. In other words, it turned low and you continue printing or worse, you went until it was declared empty. You're going to have this problem probably on your next refill. Okay. Instead of like me, and I, I learned this the hard way. I can refill 20, 30, 40 times. And I still have a cartridge that looks like that. See that sponge? Completely saturated. That's what you're looking for. And that can be maintained simply by refilling. As soon as you see that you are about to reach that low warning. You can visually see that on your ink level indicator. So remember to follow that bit of advice. It's not just because I say so. Many people out there know this now and they are not experiencing any sudden ink flow problems. And you don't want to do that to your fragile Canon printhead. It requires constant ink flow to keep it what? Cool because it's a thermal printhead and ink not only produces beautiful prints but it acts as a coolant it's like antifreeze in your car all right that is it for now thank you so much again don't forget to subscribe share and like and until the next time happy printing everybody and refilling bye bye